Flying to Spain to just climb is something I had never done before. I will usually be visiting Spain to see my family and friends, but this time it was only for the climbing. Hello, After spending the first day in the Cabrerizo and parking areas, we decided to spend the first half of our second day in Arrastradero, which is one of the biggest areas in Albarracín. I had a few blocks on my list and the first one we landed on was zigzag, which climbs at 7A. It's a problem that climbs on the steep roof full of beaches. You have pockets, pinches and jugs that lead to a big move before the top out. Unsure of whether I would be choosing the best holes to climb the block or not, I ventured to give it a proper flash go. Shortly after sending this problem we went on a mission to find Rammstein, a 7B block that was in the top 5 of my list. I was feeling good and strong and I had known the problem for years, so I was definitely going to try flushing it. That unfortunately didn't happen, so I carried on trying it and it ended up going on the 4th attempt. Right, so the day's going quite well. I've just done this uh, block that has been on the wish list for a while, and now I'm going to try a block nearby called El Duende de los Cepillos, which is another 7B, but I think it might be a bit easier than this one. Anyway, we'll find out soon enough. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, there goes the flash. He went too far right. Right, so I had a nice time at El Duende de los Cepillos. Uh, first move felt like quite nails, but in the end I sorted it out. Then we tried this lagrima thing, meant to be much easier. I couldn't pull on. <laughs> and then we've come to this other 7 8 block, uh, which I managed to do fairly quick. And then I tried this other one. I don't think I've even filmed it. Uh, it's called Ines Chakra. It's another 7B. 
I couldn't pull on at all, so quite humbling. Now we are going or heading to La Fuente, where I want to try this other block. It's potentially much harder, but I think it kind of suits me. So I'll find out soon whether I still have it in me or not in terms of pulling. So yeah, see you in a bit. This next problem is the hardest block I wanted to try during our trip. It's a 7C block in the area La Fuente, also called La Fuente. It climbs on small crimps and the movement is really basic and tensioning. I thought it could suit me well and I couldn't wait to try it. I knew this block had the potential to suck me in and make me spend the rest of the day on it, so I forced myself to apply the rule of 5 drives max so that I could move on whether I send it or not. It kind of hurt to move from this one as I thought that maybe it could go. But as I said in my previous video, I had never been to Albarracín before so I wasn't willing to invest a lot of time on one hard block and miss out on many other good blocks and classics. Next up was El Chorro, a 7A problem to the left of La Fuente, that is a classic of the area. I hadn't heard of it before, but I was pleased to give it a go. It was getting dark after trying El Chorro, so I rushed to try a few more blocks. One of them was this one, El Plus del Autobus Sit Start, which climbs at 7B and climbs through an amazingly featured roof and ends up on a rather technical top house. After messing up the sequence, I dropped the problem halfway through. So I decided to try the stand start alone, which is a 7A on itself, so perhaps that could help me to give it a better go from the sit start later. To my surprise, after climbing through the move I had dropped just before, I found one of the most fontes top outs I could ever imagine. It was absolutely blank up there. No chips, no tricks. Wailing my way up was the only way to top it out. <laughs> this rinsed me quite a lot, so I thought there was no point for me to try the seat start anymore and put myself through that again. So instead of trying the seat, I tried a variation that also starts at the end of the cave and tops out on the left hand side of the boulder, called Pilas Hacendado. I messed up the top out of my flash go and found a better sequence in my second try. This climb put an end to my second day in Albarracín and made me feel like I could potentially tackle down my goal of climbing 107 this year. Stay tuned for the third and fourth day of our trip as I will be publishing it over the next few weeks. Please like the video, drop me a comment and subscribe if you want to support my channel. See you guys soon. I'm going to do this one move and then I'll rest. <laughs> That's my classic. Okay, I have to twist my hips.
Can you come over? Oh, the ajo in the pan. Oh, come on.